TV and man, 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 man. So last night we had the boxing event, Jake Paul versus Tyron Woodley. And the YouTube star, he he remained undefeated, y'all. Jake Paul defeated Tyron Woodley in a split decision. One judge scored the fight 78-74 in favor of Paul. Another judge scored the fight 77-75. Paul and the third judge scored it 77 to 75 in favor of Woodley. I don't know if you guys seen the match or not, but shout out Sensei Glenn. My boy had sent that free link over, so I was able to tap in. Rounds, you know what I'm saying? I think Woodley could have got more active. In the boxing match, you can expect the first two, three rounds to be just like a feeling out of the opponent. Woodley didn't let his hands go early enough in the fight. Jay Paul, he was throwing his jabs consistent. He was, he's the bigger fighter, had the longer reach. So he was fighting outside. He basically had Tyron Woodley chase him pretty much the whole night. Tyron Woodley did hit bro with like a hook that sent him to the rope. And I'm telling you, if, if they weren't on them ropes and they were in the center of the ring, I think that, that definitely would have been knocked down. It, it, it definitely would have been knocked down. That punch by Woodley was like the most significant punch he threw the entire night. You can see Jay Paul start to get gassed. You can see Jake Paul get gassed towards the later part of the fight. You can see him panting heavy, you know, breathing, breathing out his mouth. But I do give it to Jake though, cause you know, he 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 was still he was tired, but he was still jabbing, double jabbing, one, two, one the whole night. Three or four, one, two, one combinations at, at Woodley. Woodley is a UFC fighter. I didn't catch none of his fights before, but I believe his fighting style is a wrestler. When folks on Twitter saying like that, you know, they wish he would let his hands go. That I was saying that was watching the event. They tuned in and they tweeted that that's what basically been Tyron Woodley his whole career. So I don't know if that's true or not. I was pulling for Tyron Woodley, but you know, Jake Paul, he did what he had to do to sustain that W and remain undefeated. It's currently now 4 0. Per the fight stats from Showtime, Paul had the advantage by landing 36 of 122 jabs compared to Woodley's 11 for 48. Paul also connected on a higher percentage power punches, 41% to 36%. Paul did most of his damage on body shots, landing 22 of them compared to Woodley's eight. Post fight, Woodley felt like Jake Paul didn't do enough to win. Be bigger than that. I feel like I won the fight. I feel like Jake's a great opponent. I didn't expect him to go down. Me and my coaches worked that. That's why I came in great shape, because I knew he can take a punch. But the fact that one judge gave me two rounds is laughable. No disrespect, but fuck the Fury fight. Me and Jake need to run that back. So you want an immediate rematch? Is that of interest Off to the you? top. But honestly, Woodley, bro, you didn't do enough to win. All you needed was one more round to like win the fight. You needed one more round, bro. I felt like if Woodley was active in the first four rounds, then, you know, it would have been a completely different story. Maybe Willie would have won. Maybe it would have been a draw. He was the busier fighter the entire fight. Supposedly, if Tyron Willie gets this tattoo, and I love Jake Paul tattoo, um, there'll be a round two. Do it. You had your opportunity. So you don't want to fight me again? I will. We move we'll, we'll, we'll I do. Oh, all. Hey, hey. Oh. <laughs> hey. hey, you you old news, fam. You you had your chance. Sorry. Logan, Logan. You had your chance. Fall back. You had your chance. If these fucking ropes wasn't seven foot two, you would have went through the ropes. I landed the power punches. You hey, missed. Hey, hey. <laughs> if you if you get the tattoo, You're not scared running back. If you if you if you get the tattoo, I love Jake Paul. Let's run it back. Bet. Let's go. Yeah. Deal. Make a bet. Bet. Deal. Get the tattoo. To be honest, Woodley, bro, you did all that talking post fight to ask for to ask for a rematch, but you ain't even do enough in the first. Fight. Like Woodley is a combat fighter. Jay Paul just hopped in this ring what a couple years ago. You know, I'm not saying that Jay Paul don't take it serious because you know he showed last night. Woodley was just supposed to let them hands go, y'all, and he he, he didn't do that, man. 
So I'm kind of disappointed in that. That's all I got for you for the Jake Paul and Tyron Woodley fight. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe. Tap the notification bell as to let you know when I upload. If you haven't already, please follow me on Instagram and Twitter. If you'd like to support me and the channel, I'll also leave my cash app tag in the description as well. Yeah, man, until next time. Backwards to the face, bad bitch small ways, ocho with the plate.